take that. Take now, take Bristol, to that yes. Yes. <laughs> Bristol will soon have nearly 100 buses running on fuel made from food waste. It's called biomethane and experts say it is better for air quality and helps climate change problems. A new biogas refuelling station has just opened to keep them on the road and our business correspondent Dave Harvey is there for us now. Good evening, Dave. Good evening, David. From what looks like a regular filling station, doesn't it? But this pump here doesn't contain diesel, but gas. And not any old gas, not dinosaur gas from hundreds of millions of years ago. It's made out of this. My old scraps of food waste from across the country. Seems extraordinary, but think about it. Where there's food, there's often a bit of gas, isn't there? And it is basically the same idea. Put 100 kilograms of gas in here. That's about 250 miles, which is a good route for a day in Bristol. They're a bit more expensive, adding about £20,000 to the typical £280,000 price tag. Over the last few years, I tell you what, Bristol's green buses have had quite a journey. It all started five years ago. Remember the Who bus? A bus for Bristol powered by, well, Bristolians themselves caught worldwide media attention. Travellers needed not to worry about the smell as claimed all the impurities are removed in the plant before filling it in the tank. So they don't smell like potty. The simple idea that you can make methane from sewage and food waste, which then powers a bus. So it's infinitely renewable, it's carbon neutral. The experiment proved the tech and now Bristol's bus company has gone all in. So we've got 77 on order and they'll be arriving over the next nine months. So by April 2020, we'll have 99. And from my point of view, that's just the start. We can increase that over the next few years very considerably. They look like any other buses, but the exhaust gases are 50% cleaner than a brand new diesel and cut CO2 by 80%. Really? Yes, definitely. It's a carbon neutral fuel, so it's making a contribution to tackling climate change, a very important global challenge. It's also better on air quality, better than not just diesel, but also petrol. Is there enough gas from waste food and human waste to fuel what the guy here said might be all of Bristol's buses and around every city? Yes, definitely. Um, there are different sources from food, from waste agricultural products, from uh, landfill gas. And other countries have shown that they can generate a lot of uh, useful gas in this way. There's nothing to hold us back, basically. But this may prove to be the sticking point. This is where all of Bristol and Bath's food waste comes to be turned into biomethane and power the national grid. It looks like an awful lot, doesn't it? But still far too much of it is ending up in landfill sites. So we know in Bristol that around a quarter of the black bin is still filled with food waste. And that's a crying shame because that food waste is actually an energy source. And we can use it to do really useful things like powering buses or even helping people cook their own dinners in their homes. In other words, we shouldn't see this as dirty, smelly rubbish, but clean fuel for our buses. Dave Harvey, BBC Points West in Bristol.